used to love climbing trees when I was a kid. I did it quite a bit. And then a few years ago, I went through a phase where I was just finding trees to climb in whatever town I would go through on all my travels. But then uh, I fell out of the habit. I kind of got lazy, you know, doing the work that I do keeps, my, keeps me on my ass a lot. Uh, but I want to get back into the habit of climbing trees because it's something that I love to do. And so I'm in the town of Paonia, Colorado right now. It just started pouring raining and I was actually wintering here a few months ago and I found this tree that looks amazing to climb. I made a goal to do it, but I didn't do it. I'm back in Paonia for the summer now and I'm gonna climb that tree. So I wanna take you over there. And what we're gonna do is I'm gonna show you uh, climbing this big tree. It's beautiful, let's go. Okay, so mercifully the rain has stopped for now, but it is monsoon season here in the summer, so there are some dark clouds on the horizon that might be coming by. I might get up to the top of this tree and get soaked. I may not even get to the top of the tree. I don't know if you've ever climbed a tree or if it's been a while for you, but this is the one right here. It's pretty big. I'm not sure exactly how tall exactly. I'll measure it when I get up there with my drone. But um, yeah, I'm a little out of shape for tree climbing, so we'll see how I do. So as you can see, we got a nice big pine tree here, real sturdy branches. It's at least 50 feet. And now we have to pick our route of ascension here. All right, so I've made it uh, maybe a quarter of the way up the tree. So far, so good. But uh, you can see the progress so far. Actually, now that I'm getting back into this, I'm halfway up the tree now. It feels like riding a bike. It's, uh, you know, just coming right back to me. No problem, loving it. The trickiest part is staying safe because I always like to keep four points of contact on the branches. But of course, I'm trying to film this as I go. So every once in a while, I'm taking a break just to find a little perch here. Let's see, I'm gonna try and film a little bit of the process here. It's kind of like a puzzle, you know, trying to pick your route. It's fun. It's a fun game for the body and the mind. There's the top up there. We'll see how far I can get. The branches get real small. Well, I've made it to the end of the line. I'm about five feet from the top, but I can't safely go up anymore. The branches are too thin and crowded, but uh, it's nice up here though. Well, now it's time to make the descent, get back onto the ground. Whew. Wow. Well, that was legitimately fun. I'm so glad I did it. I actually ended up going up twice because I had to get the drone shots and I had a hell of a time carrying these bags, but that's basically what it's like to climb a pine tree. I did measure it with the drone up there. It's about 65 feet in the air. So that's sort of a medium grade, not a bad day. I'm ready for a drink. I'm gonna go get a drink. I'm gonna tell you a little bit more about my experience with tree climbing. So there is something else I want to talk to you about besides climbing trees, and it has to do with this. But first, let's talk about the tree. That was fun. Climbing trees and playing like that is something that kids do naturally, but somewhere along the way when we grow up, most people tend to lose that sense of play, and we just get into our daily routines, which are mostly sedentary 
Um, but it's so good for the body and the mind to climb trees. It's a great physical workout for the arms and the legs and also for the mind to like a puzzle. You're figuring out which branch you're going to grab onto and being safe and all that and going up and then down again is a very different experience. So I really enjoy it. I was happy to share it with you. Um, it's a practice that I hope to maintain throughout the rest of my life. And I highly recommend it to you as well. So what has kept me from climbing trees? Well, mostly laziness, just to be honest. The kind of work that I do as a digital nomad typically keeps me on my ass on the computer doing work for clients. And, you know, I've just been focusing on that for the last couple of years, which is great. But finding that balance in life of work and play is something that I've struggled with and sort of lost my way. And so this video has been great for me to sort of rekindle that passion for climbing trees. I hope you enjoyed it. The other thing I wanted to talk to you about is drinking. This is another major reason why I've been lazy over the last few years. The reason why I'm bringing this up to you is, well, first of all, just to be honest, but second of all is because the next video or two after this one, I'm going to be doing a I quit drinking for 30 days kind of video. And I actually smoke tobacco too. American Spirit Rolling Tobacco. I've been smoking that since I was 11. I'm 42 now. So got some bad habits, some bad patterns that I've um, perpetuated over the years. So I'm just sort of teasing for the next video that um, I'm going to be stopping drinking and smoking for 30 days. And I'm going to document the process and share it with you. So it was a pleasure climbing the tree today and sharing the experience with you. I'm looking forward to being more personal and sharing my experience with quitting drinking and smoking in the next upcoming videos.